Welcome to this how-to session on creating your first image web AR experience in all. Image Augmented Reality gives you the ability to place virtual content, like 3D models, other images, videos, including alpha channel or transparent videos and audio, over the top or around a physical image that's located in the real world. All in web AR so your audience can view your creation using the web browser on their mobile devices or their desktop computer. Images can be anything from posters, product packaging, business, greeting or holiday cards, artwork, stickers and photographs. And you don't need to include a special marker or embed a QR code for them to show the digital content. Let's start creating our first image AR scene. Select Image AR from the new scene options. Enter a scene name. By default, the scene name is added as the scene URL too, and a project name if it's your first scene. Then click Add. You're taken to your Image AR Scene Editor, which defaults to Target Image Edit Mode. For the target image, we're going to be adding a print advertisement that could appear in magazines and newspapers, a catalogue or a poster in a retail store window, or all of these. When this target image is recognised, it will display a digital 3D model of the sneaker over the top of the print ad, so people can see it in a more realistic view. This is a very simple implementation of Image AR. First is the Target Image Editor, where we define the real-world image people will be holding their device over to see the Image AR experience come to life. We're adding the digital version of the real-world image, our sneaker ad. To add our target image, select the middle icon on the bottom right of the screen to open the target image picker. As this is the first time I'm adding one, my list is empty. Add a new image. I'm adding mine from my device storage, and you can see it uploads and adds it as a target image for you to choose. With our target image added, we now add digital content to show over our image. You can add as many as you like, but for this how-to, we're just adding one. At the bottom of the screen, you can see we're currently in the Target Image Editor. Select the middle icon, which is the Object Editor. Objects are what we call the digital content you show over your image. The target image is displayed here as a reference for laying our digital content over and around it. We're now in a three-dimensional editor space. So you can turn it around and up here on the left-hand side, you can use the Perspective Picker as a shortcut to view a specific perspective to assist in your layout. At the bottom of the screen is the Scene Objects list, showing you a list of objects already in this scene, and the Media Library, which contains all the assets in our project. We're adding an object from the Media Library, a 3D animated model of our sneaker, which happens to be GLTF format, but could also be FBX, GLB or OBJ. You can either add a new file if you haven't added it to the media library previously, or if you have, just click Models and Use on my sneaker model. At the bottom right, select Place to add your object to the scene where it's automatically selected. See the X, Y and Z axes highlighted so you can edit it. Move, scale, rotate, add animations, actions and more. We're not going to run through all the different options. Check out our introduction to the OR object editor in the support section for that. But we are going to make some quick adjustments to the scale, rotation and position of our model, plus trigger an animation to play. Select Scale, and by default all axes are selected so our object will scale proportionally across all three axes. Now all I need to do is move my mouse wheel up and down to make it bigger or smaller, use the trackpad with my fingers up and down, or on my touchscreen, fingers up and down the screen vertically. You'll notice on the top left, you've got a percentage value showing the current percentage of the object source file size. You can edit the value directly in here too, if you know exactly how big or small you want to make your object. Once done, we click Save. Now, let's rotate the model until we're happy with the overall placement. Let's move our sneaker model so it's placed over the sneaker in the target image. You can move across any axis, but only along a single axis at a time. Enter values directly, or use your mouse, trackpad, or touchscreen. Under the More icon, we can configure additional attributes for the object, including adding actions, things that happen when a certain event is triggered, and animations. 
we're going to add an animation when tracking starts. When the target image is recognised and our object loads over the image, the animation will play. Our animation is a clip animation, exported as part of our 3D model. Select Model Clip Animation, then the specific animation. Update any other settings you want, then click Done. Let's test our Image Web AR experience on our phone. Either sign into your OR account on your phone if your project isn't published, or if it is, just scan the scene QR code from the scene settings, or enter the URL in your web browser. When it's loaded, hold the scan interface over our target image and watch it come to life. If you want your own custom scan interface and messaging, add the custom branding pack to your project, or turn on the skip scan feature under the scene settings and deep link your users directly to your web AR experience so the content shows without any scanning step. There's a few other options you can check out in the image web AR scene settings. The preload target images option enables the tracking data for the scene and any other scenes you specify to preload so you can move seamlessly from one target image to another. The tracking lost lock option gives you the ability to lock your objects on the screen and you can interact with them even if tracking is lost. Easy, huh? It's that quick to set up your first image web AR experience. No app downloads needed, just open it in your web browser. There's loads more functionality you can add to your image web AR scenes, so check out our support section for more on adding interactivity to objects in your scene, including custom JavaScript and CSS, and how to add other web AR modes, like spatial AR, GPS location AR, relative AR, face AR, and 360 degree or web VR scenes. Or contact us by emailing support at or.media.